Hey guys, uh, happy Pi Day. Uh, been working on these a little bit. Um, almost finished with the, uh, the chainsaw ladies. You'll notice that I abandoned the um, caution stripes on the eviscerators, mainly because um, I was horrible at it. They just they they looked like a drunken six-year-old had done them, and none of them looked the same. I would even try to do like the same number of stripes on each eviscerator, and uh, that turned out I couldn't couldn't even manage that properly. But they they just got some of the small details left to do, like these little uh, phylacteries on their legs. Uh, I may go back through and do the eyes, but that's, you know, that's, yeah, that usually messes up more than it fixes. Uh, these ladies all need their dreadlocks done, which I'm tempted to give them uh, red hair, just because. Though I may save that for another. The Mistress of Repentance um, has a little bit more that needs to be done to her. Um, she needs to get put on a proper base for one thing, and then a couple of things picked out like the... the the purity seals and all the purity seals on the late on the chainsaw ladies need to be filled out with um, my ink pens and stuff like that, so they look look like little purity seals with little protestations. <clears throat> Overall, for a a batch work, I'm not upset with the skin on these ladies, but uh, if if these were centerpiece models, I would not be happy with them. But, you know, there were nine of them plus the, uh, the Mistress of Repentance. And so I just, I did, did what I could and then got them finished. Uh, even went ahead and started on St. Celestine and her uh, two friends, which these have turned out fairly decent. I like them uh, really well. And they need, they all need a wash. None, none of the three have been washed at all. Um, I need to go. I did all their ribboning with these little... 0 0.05 millimeter micron pins so I mean that that's that helped out a lot uh, I managed to only put my finger on the ink and smear it in a couple places and then could go back and fix it but especially from the three feet level they look they look pretty good um, she has all her detail work that still needs to be done um, as do the two sisters with her they all need the their hair color picked out. I may may reserve the red hair for the uh, Gemini, just because you know, because you know, redheads are cool, and they're underrepresented in, in everything except for the um, Slayers, and then they they have their own particular problem. The Slayers do, but yeah, I mean these as the only three Plastic Sisters models, with the exception of the Immolator interiors, um, these these were fun to paint, and they after. After working with all the other ladies put together, who are you know come as clamshell metal models, it wasn't too difficult for me to paint around these because to assemble these you couldn't really keep them in uh, component parts. There were too many small parts that needed to be glued together, uh, like you know the hand and the sword needed to go onto the arm, and um, you know they were one piece. The chest piece was like with the head and the hair that was all like four or five actually counting the shoulder pads is almost seven pieces just from the waist up and <clears throat> they hook directly into the legs and it, it just is impossible to do them piecemeal but uh but yeah those three are are coming along well i still need to do the gemini bet jet packs and celestine's um angel wings and then after I get these painted then I need to figure out how in the world I'm going to transport her as well I may have to call Jason Statham ho 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 bad joke but um uh but yeah that's those are the figures I've been painting I went ahead and started to build the exorcist tank which hold on just a second This thing is heavy since it has so much metal in it now and uh, you can see like the metal has warped you can see there's a gap definite gap there that I'm gonna have to go in and fill with green stuff and uh, you know even here on the back it was it was impossible to keep the to, to press it in and get it and close all the gaps and you can see that that major gaps gonna have to be filled in it's just the molds are old for the metal pieces and they um, these plates were warped and so I'll just have to, to fill in with green stuff or perfect plastic putty. I'm probably going to fill in 
this part here, this indentation, just to uh, to make it you know, just to make it level, basically. And then I can put the, I'll put the headlights in before I do that. To, well, actually, after it, so I can sand them down. But this this has taken a lot of modification. This this piece here, again, the mold is 15 years old, you know, for these things, and so it was uh, pinched a little bit. And so I had to I had to cut pieces off the the top part of the the emulator rack and file the corners down here to get them to sit. And you can see it's still not sitting flush, but you know, and I'll need to green stuff all through here and all that and get that done. Yeah, because that's that's I mean that's just going to be you know, it's a nice big blob of green stuff right here on the bottom. But you know that's that's what it's for to fill in those gaps and especially especially for the exorcist tanks which are whether you want them to be or not they'll, they'll be centerpieces of your army because how many, often do you see a pipe organ tank that shoots missiles and so you know that's that'll that'll be fun once I get it done uh, the the keyboard section here is super awkward to put together I've just been dry fitting it and it's it's going to be exciting I'll, I'll have to definitely have to be using um, accelerant on the super glue to get it get it in the right spot but uh and then i'll need to make sure i get it in the right spot before i put the accelerant down and all that jazz but yeah after after this one's done i've got another one and then uh actually at that point i'll have 1500 points of sisters and then i'm gonna I plan on building the big um night titan uh the the probably a night paladin and using them as the big sister to, to looks after all the little sisters because uh, the the couple of times I've played these on the on the table they definitely lack uh, any heavy hitters or any ability honestly to do mortal wounds which are to me seem to be key in taking out like terminators or anything with a uh, two up three up save compatibility so it's either that or I can I can take a detachment of gray knights along with the sisters but they you know the sisters don't like psychers and uh they just they just think they're they're ugly and gross so we'll, we'll just have to see that but anyway i uh, hope you guys are doing well uh i've been having fun been trying to keep up with the kids uh trying to get things done despite all the all the parental duties that come with the three children which again my own fault i asked for them and i and i wouldn't trade them for modeling time at all but oh, vacations are nice too Anyway, hope you guys are good, and I enjoy all the videos and all the stuff I see. I'll talk to y'all later. Adios. Uh, don't break it.